Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video we're going to learn uh, prepositions according to time. Prepositions are really important. In the last video, once we were learning, when we were learning parts of speech, I explained what are prepositions. Okay, prepositions are words that they do not have their own meaning when they are alone, but once they are used in a sentence, they clarify the meaning of the sentence. Okay, and these are really, really important to learn. If you don't know how to precisely use prepositions, you cannot, you know, use English grammar precisely. And I've seen most of the students, they struggle to learn or to use prepositions accurately. So these videos are going to be really vital for all the students who want to learn prepositions well or who want to use proper English grammar, okay? So let me start in this video. Uh, let me just tell you that there, there would be three videos about prepositions. Like in today, here, as you see, uh, we're going to learn prepositions according to time. In the next coming up videos, we will learn prepositions according to place and some other important prepositions, okay? So make sure you watch all three videos and you learn them well. And if you have some problem or some question, you're welcome to talk with me. Uh, you can write your questions in the comment section and I'll be happy to reply to your questions, okay? So let's start. The first one here is on and according to time, how we use on, let's look at it. So the firstly, we use on for the days of the week, okay? For the days of the week. For, for example, here, I'll see you on Monday. Here we said on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday, on Saturday, on Sunday. And this is the British version, okay? Uh, Americans, they don't use on for the days of the week. Instead, uh, most probably they use at for the days of the week, okay? But British, they normally use on for the days of the week, okay? So, on for days of the week. Like, I'll see you on Monday. We will go there on Saturday. He was here on Tuesday. The test will be on Friday, okay? So, you understand for the days of the week, we use on, okay? So whenever, again, when you want to uh, say something that you would do this uh, on this day, so you can use on, okay? Uh, like, we will have cricket match on uh, Sunday. Uh, we will have meeting on Friday, okay? Whatever. Or the academy will be off on Thursday, okay? <clears throat> Let's uh, look at the next slide here. This is the second one. In, okay? And we use in uh, for months, for seasons, for year, for morning, evening, afternoon, and period of time, okay? So for months, for example, <clears throat> uh, I was in China in January, okay? Here, months, okay? So whenever you want to say a month, like in January, in February, in whatever, okay? In seasons, okay? For season, sorry. In winter, it is really cold here, okay? Or in summer, it is really hot here, okay? For year, in 2019, I was in China. Or in 2022, uh, I came back to my country, fine, okay? Uh, I played cricket in the morning, okay? Uh, I'll be there in the evening, okay? In the afternoon, I go to academy, okay? For a period of time, okay? Uh, I have played, um, uh, you know, uh, I haven't played cricket in the last 10 years, okay, or whatever, okay, here again, a period of time, so we can also look at these examples I put in this PPT, I visited Italy in July, or you can say I visited Italy in spring, I visited Italy in 1994, so months, season, and years, okay, uh, I like to, or in the evening, I like to relax. You can also say in the in the morning, I like to relax. In the afternoon, I like to relax, whatever, okay? And period of time, this is the first cigarette I have had or I've had in three years, okay? So three years is the period of time, okay? So let's look at the next one. This is at, okay? So we use for night, at we use for night, for example. At night, I'll be there, whatever, okay? Weekend. This is British English. They use at for the weekend. 
but American English they use on for the weekend once we were learning this one on for the days of the week Americans they do opposite they use at for the days of the week like Americans they say at Monday at Tuesday at Wednesday at you know Thursday at Friday whatever and they use on for the weekends like on the weekend I'll be there okay on the weekend we will do this whatever okay but British they do the opposite they use on for the days of the week and they use at for weekend okay this is British English okay and the, the third one is used to show an exact or a particular time for example uh, I'll, I'll be there at uh, 12 o'clock or I'll see you at uh, 2 p.m. whatever okay so used to show an exact or a particular time so for this purpose we use at also okay so now let's look at some examples it gets cold at night okay okay what did you do at the weekend again this is British English we use at for the weekend okay next there's a meeting at uh, half past two this afternoon or at the lunch time there's a meeting at lunch time okay so whatever so uh, I hope you understand it very well there are three uses of at as a, a preposition according to time for night for weekend and used to show an exact or a particular time okay let's move on to the next one since I think if you have learned grammar and you have learned uh, perfect continuous sentence you know uh, the uses of since okay from a particular time in the past until a later time or until now okay for example England have not won the World Cup in football since 1966 this is another uses but you can also use it in uh, you know in perfect continuous sentence but as a preposition here uh, from a particular time in the past until a later time or until now for example here we see England have not won the World Cup in football since 1966 okay or since 19 uh, since uh, 1999 uh, we have we haven't seen a uh, hailstorm in my hometown whatever okay so let's look at the next one this is four and four is used to show an amount of time for example I'm just going to bed for an hour or so okay so here uh, if you have learned a perfect continuous sentence you know uh, we use since when we are confirmed about the time when we know the exact time for example here since 1966 so something uh, like uh, you know, referring to 1966 so exact here okay if we talk about since morning so uh, since evening or uh, since uh, July or since Monday so we know the exact days months or years so that's why we are using since but in the case of four okay used to show an amount of time and what time we are not sure about okay for example here I'm just going to bed for an hour or so so maybe whatever hour okay we have no idea so you can use uh, four as a preposition to show an amount of time all right now let's move on and Go, okay I go as a preposition according to time back in the past back in time from the present okay for example here you see the dinosaurs died uh, out uh, 65 million years ago so back in the past or back in time from the present okay like a couple of years ago I went to China okay or a couple of years ago I visited uh, 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 New York okay a few years ago I had, I had met with my friends uh, with my friend whatever okay or uh, 10 years ago I was playing cricket in my hometown whatever okay next before at or during a time earlier than or earlier than a certain point of time for example she's always up before sunshine okay I was there before before eight o'clock okay or I'll be there before nine o'clock whatever okay or uh, before coming to academy I, 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 I recorded this video whatever okay next two used when saying the time to mean before the stated hour okay it's 20 to 6 
So to tell the time, we use two. For example, whenever the time passes uh, 30 minutes, for example, uh, uh, you know, if the time is 2.31, then we say 29 to 3. If the time is 2.45, uh, then we say quarter to 3. If the time is uh, 2.50, then we say 10 to uh, 3, okay? So, it, it is used to tell the time in proper English, okay? Use when saying the time to mean before the stated hour, okay? Uh, okay, fine. It's 20 to 6. It means that uh, it would be 6 o'clock after 20 minutes, so the time is 5.40, okay? It's 20 to 6, so it means the time is 5.40, okay? Now, let's look at the next one. Past, okay? Telling the time, okay? Again, just like here, we learned it's 20 to 6, so the time was 5.40. If the time is, for example, uh, let's say it's... Uh, it's uh, 29 to, uh, let me write actually in English, 29 to, it's 29 to, for example, 8, okay? So here, in this case, the time is uh, 7.31. It means that after 29 minutes, it would be 8 o'clock. And in the same way, we use past, okay? Telling the time, 5 past 10, it means that the time is 10.05, okay? 5 past 10, it means 5 minutes have passed after 10, okay? And if we say, for example, half past 10, half past 10, 10 okay here this means that the time is 10 30 okay and if we say the time is for example uh for example you know uh 20 past 20 past 5 here in this case the time is 5 20 okay so we use two and pass to tell the time okay 20 past 5 means the time is 5 20 half past 10 means 10 30 5 past 10 means 10 or 5 okay so let's move on to the next one from okay from uh, used to show the time when something starts okay used to show the time when something starts for example the museum is open from 9 30 or half past 9 to 6 Tuesday to Sunday. So here we are, you know, using it to show the time when something is starting. For example, uh, you may use it for other, uh, per uh, not for the other purposes, uh, in other examples. For example, you may say, the academy is open from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Currently, uh, where I'm teaching to my students, uh, that academy timing is this, okay? And my timing over there is from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. Okay, so when something starts, you can use from for uh, for the purpose when to to tell that when something is starting, you can you can use this uh, preposition from. Okay, next till until in the last uh, few days, someone asked me. Uh, what is the difference between till, till and until and I told the guy that I'll be recording videos about prepositions and you can watch those videos and afterwards you'll understand what is going on or how to use these two till and until okay up to the time that up to the time that for example here we waited till half past six for you or we waited until half past six for you so up to the time that for example I was there till six o'clock but you didn't come okay all right I was waiting for you until 10 p.m. but uh, you didn't show up whatever okay so you can use this until for up to the time that okay and you can make some examples to help you understand in a better way next by not later than at or before not later than at or before she had promised to be back by five o'clock 
no later than it means not afterwards as or before not before then okay so for example i say i'll reach to the academy by two o'clock okay or i'll have my lunch by 12 o'clock whatever okay or the match uh, will start by you know nine o'clock or uh, we will start the match by eight o'clock whatever you want to say okay so learn these prepositions these were according to time and in the next video uh, we will learn prepositions according to uh, place and some other important prepositions so again i'm telling you these videos about prepositions are really important uh, especially if you want to use grammar precisely okay i've seen students they don't know how to use prepositions uh, precisely so try to learn them well and i'll see you in the next video about prepositions keep learning well and if you have some problems you are welcome to put those questions in the comment section and i'll reply them as soon as possible bye bye i'll see you in the next video